Hi, and welcome to the Trucking Scribe. It's Esther. Today, I'm still working on this great big journal with the Amazon packaging and Val's Creations Digital. I've used her cream digital. Today, I'm going to bring in Victorian Rose. We're going to make these two. It's an ephemera holder has three pockets in it and it's really really cute so I'm making this one in the video I hope that um, you like it I got the idea from Septeria 18 watching her video so definitely go check her out and I will leave everything in the description below to contact Val if you're interested in the digital I guess I'm using cream dried roses and Victorian rose. Cream dried flowers and Victorian rose. So I've been working on this journal that has Val's craft creation digitals in it. The beautiful, beautiful cream colored ones. And I'm still trying to fill up this. I have lots of tags in there. Some journaling cards, but I think it needs more. So I was watching Septeria 18 this morning. About a year ago, she had posted a video, three pocket fold up booklet. So you're going to need for this one booklet, you're going to need one 12 by 4 and one 4 by 6. So you will need your scoreboard. You're going to take in, have your 12 inch side this way. You're going to score it one and a half, four and a half, five and a quarter, six, and ten and a half. So on the next one, the 4 by 6 with the 6 inch side going this way, you're going to score at 3 and 3 fourths, right there, and then 4 and a half. So I'm going to tell you what, around my house, everybody has had COVID. So I'll we'll put those there, I think, and do these first. So we, I'm just going to fold these on those lines and crease them. So I folded all these on the fold. I'm going to go to the middle of the five and a fourth inch score line, and I'm going to fold it there. I'm going to fold this up. This is going to go up. Then this one is going to be folded up also. And we're going to stick this up in there. So it's kind of like an upside down waterfall. Well, something's not measuring right. Should I not measure right? That one should be shorter. Ten and a half, four and a half, five and a quarter, so that's where it folds. Six, and then, uh, see, I did ten and a half right there. I will make sure to put those fold lines in the description box because, as you can tell, that makes a difference. But we're going to cover that up. So this is going to go together like this. So you'll have three folds. I'm going to take and cover my pages with these. And what I did, I did bring in some of the roses from Val's collection. 
I think it's Victorian roses is what she called it. Because I thought some of this, the colors would actually go with what I have here and here. So I brought in a second kit. I love that one. So I'm going to get my idea of where everything's going to go. What I need to put where. So this will go this way. And I'm only going to put these here. I really would like that rose right there. So this is going to be a pocket. It's going to be closed. I'm going to mark this and then I'm going to glue it. And I don't need to go all the way past that. I'm going to cut out with my scissors just a little bit bigger. That way I can maneuver it. So I've really enjoyed working with Val and all the other ladies that are in this collaboration. They have been doing a wonderful job. So, let's see. I'm just going crazy this morning. So I want this. This is going to go up in there. So these will fold up. But when you open this one, this is not looking enough. Here we go. So when you open that one, you will see this white. And I'm wanting this to go like right here to where you don't see. But yet I can see most of my rows up there. Or I could turn it around this way and put it right there. I think I like that better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that to cover that page. And I'm just using glue stick right now. I've got time to find another glue book, I think. So I decided I wanted my flower right there. I'm going to go just below that score line. That way it, you don't really see it. And then see my, I'm going to just trim that off. I'm going to go ahead and ink right here because it's possible you may see that a little bit of that because I'm not perfect, but I try. I'm going to fold this. I'm going to glue this little flap down on each side. That's going to give us a pocket. So there's one pocket. This one's going to fit up in there like this. And I'm doing this so I can see what I need to cover. So this is going to need to be covered. I have some other beautiful prints over here. I like this one. So although they're cut like pockets, you can still use the designs or do you feel like they look good. You can save these little papers for stamps. That would be perfect for one of the stamps that I've got. You see right here, there is a, a notch for that. So I'm going to try and put this one right there. Actually, no, I'm going to do two separate ones. And I didn't mark this one because I'm going to just lay it down to where I can see. So I'm looking at the light coming through here as to where I want to position it. And then I'm going to trim. And if you have double-sided paper, you don't necessarily need to do this. It's just 
I don't, and I think this would this kit goes good with this paper, and it just gives me another opportunity to use the kit. So I am going to cut this little bit off. I think you know what? Let's let's fold it over. Give that little bit of a little more strength, not that I think it needs it, but. So again, we're going like this. I'm going to glue this down after I ink it. Especially this little flap right there. We have beautiful skies today. I don't know how cold it is because I haven't been outside. So now we're folding that one up. We can go ahead and cover this back side so that it's done. I can use that one's not gonna be long enough for that. This one actually will cover just barely. So I'm over here trying to straighten it just as much as I can so that I can get all that in. See, that side's a little short, so I think I'm going to have to go with this side. Yep. Something is under my glue book. I'm going to have to pull it up and see. So I am... Um, since this is going to be pretty close, I am going to put it, put it up right to that seam. So see how it's going down? Then you got this part that you don't do anything with. Depending on how you want to do it, you can put a piece of lace over that. You'd never know that there was a seam there. Okay. So I just keep putting these back in so I make sure they're in there the right way. So we got the top. We've got this side down, this side, that side. So that leaves this section here. And I need I need to cover all the way down to this bottom. I wonder if she would show up very well. I'll hold it back up again. So what I'm doing is I'm holding her up to the light and trying to see right here is where this comes down that side, and then I fold it this part because where it's gonna not be showing so I think if I cut right there I can get most of her in there. And I did go ahead and cut her four inch a little over four because I want to make sure I've got enough to do this. So I want to come up right to there and then I'm gonna be able to cut some of this off at the bottom. So she will fit just perfect right there. We'll trim her off a little bit in a few minutes. And I do want to put her right here as close as I can to that fold, but not so much 
I don't want a crooked either because I want that side where she's at to to show more. Okay. I say that and I get her crooked. I may have to even up the top and then trim the sides. Yeah. So now all I'm doing is I'm gonna trim up my sides somehow. I'm gonna go. So this helps right here where I made that score mark. That gives it some more stability. I'm going to go ahead and ink this again. And then I'm going to glue her little flap down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and glue these. First we can glue this one in right here. And you can use a stick glue if you want. I just feel more comfortable with this one to go. And I'm pushing it up in there. And I'll put some glue right there. So now you can ink it up, make sure you got it all inked up really good. Like I did most of it, you know what, I didn't do that when I was here. I see it now. So if you're going to round the corners, you can round them. Let me see. I'm not sure how these come off. They're grouped together. Maybe they are. Is it one whole piece? It is. You know what? I don't want it one whole piece. Let me sit down. I like this part. So I'm going to cut them. It's kind of disappointing now that I'm in here and this is all one stamp. Yeah, I'll throw the wrong one away, huh? Let's see. Yes, I just did not realize that this was like this. That's okay. We can make it work. I'm going to leave those. I really wanted that one. And those right there. And it goes right there. And this one goes all the way across. You see, I only want this part. Keep going to throw it away. There is this one. Let me see. That one would fit there. Let me try and see what it looks like. So when you're using your scrap papers like this, this is what I cut off 
that one a while ago. So you can stamp these and then you can look and see if that's what you might like. And I think that would look good right there. I'm going to stick this under just in case I might mess up. I'm going to do it this way. I'm still learning how to do stamps, but this lady the other day, I don't remember who it was, but she said, don't rock it and to leave it sitting there for a little bit so the ink has time to come up. That looks pretty. I like that. Okay. I'll just have to get this out again. And I have gotten where I have my stamps right here beside me so that I can see this. I don't want that in there. Again, I can use my little paper here. And then you can have these on the side to, to use. Once I got, I think it's this box that's full of envelopes, yeah. See, I got all these off cuts of stamps and stuff, which I will be putting some of those in here. You know, that might look good just as a stick in there. So I'm going to just trim these off, both of them, and put them in those pockets. What I'm going to do first is ink them up. Let's see if I can get this up here where you can see it. I'm going to gently kind of rub across this because that paper is awful white. Now it looks a little bit better. Don't forget the back. Now I've got one for there. So I'm leaving the, the width on it so that the person that gets it, they, they can kind of decide if they want to cut most of it off. They want to use it for a border. So have all these and I stuck most of them in here. I'm going to take these and put them in my basket for this journal. So I need some decoration, I think. I have some laces in this basket. I think that would look good right there. I put another one right there. Or I have this. I think I like the other better with that. That's pretty too. I'm going to go with this for now. I need my fabric tack. So you want to be kind of stingy right here with your fabric tack because it, the reason I'm saying that is this lace is kind of thin and until it dries, it's going to stick to the other side of your flap. So right now I'm just going to stick this little pin under there so maybe it will dry while we see what else we can get into. These are awful big ones. 
I think when they read something, this would look so pretty right there as well. So Paula has started a new Facebook group for beginners. Definitely, if you're a beginner, go over to her group and check her out. She's really good at teaching. I can I need another one somewhere? I do have these flowers. I thought I might could put a couple of them on there, but I don't know. I'm going to go take I go to Easter now, huh? Oh, baby blue. I think I like that one there. That one there. I think. Or I could do two and three, maybe. I guess I can agree with that, I think. I'm going to take my fabric tack again and I'm just going to tack it down. This would be something good for a hot glue gun. I just don't have mine out. And I'm going to put some little bling right there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue especially with the lace I'm using the fabric tack I think what I'm going to do is these middle size ones So that's how I make a small three page flip pocket thing. Pocket thing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to go over and view Septeria 1718. I know it's Septeria because my sister's name is Softeta and it's similar. Septeria 18, the three pocket fold up booklet, which I'm going to have a link below so you can go over there and check her out. So I hope you have a great weekend.